Rolling Street. That's good news. Better certainly on the better than expected employment report and news from the Fed that the economy strengthened in the third quarter. Now, for what this means for your portfolio, we have Tom Belisis. He is founder and CEO of John. Thomas Financial. Good to see you, Tom. Great to see you guys. Uh, no surprises really on the feds and the rates and everything. Although, interestingly, there was only one dissent. Richard Fisher, the head of the Dallas Fed, decided not to dissent. He dissented last time, sure. as well as two of his colleagues. This must be good news for Ben Bernanke. It is. I mean, I think the Fed has done whatever he can do in terms of the market. I think now it's up to Congress to facilitate some term of policies to affect employment, you know, in the economy and get the economy back on track. So I think now it's the the, the touch will be back on Congress to get this economy moving again. Okay, our economy is one thing, but now we get caught in downdrafts and headwinds from Europe, and what did we just see out of Greece? My goodness, that all aid will be cut to Greece until they have that referendum. You're Greek. <laughs> I hate to, <laughs> hate to keep doing this to you because you're hardworking and you're sure. crushing it here in the United States. But what does this mean to everybody you know in Greece right now? That can't be good news at all. Well, there's difficult times there, and, and it's been for a while now. All I can say now is that if they don't get their act together, listen, and again, I love my country. I love my countrymen, but, you know, they don't want to work. They don't want to fall back into the austerity measures of what's going to get the economy back on track. Listen, if you want the money and you want to accept the money, you're going to have to accept the terms and conditions that the people that are providing you the money. And if you don't, listen, you're going to have issues. Tom, let's bring it back here. You thought Monday and Tuesday together was an oversell, that we were oversold in the Absolutely. market. So uh, you were not the only person buying. We saw the market was up significantly today. What are you buying right now? Uh, we've been buying selective technology stocks. We've been buying energy stocks, selective health care stocks, industrials. I mean, we had a tough month in September. There's no question about it. Followed by an amazing month in October. I mean, it's been the eighth biggest month in over 40 years. And I think you have a little period of consolidation here where you have to buy stocks. You have to buy stocks. I think earnings tell the whole story here. And earnings have been phenomenal up until But of this all point. the sectors, what looks best? Energy. I think energy, we've been touting energy for the last 12 months. I think on any type of pullback, you buy selective energy stocks. What do you buy? Are you buying the integrated oils? Are you buying any kind of green energy companies? Not or really. Ones that straddle the both? You know, we've been buying a lot of the big names like Halliburton, Capital Oil and Gas, COG, on the New York Stock Exchange. A lot of the bigger names have been bouncing back with the rally. Here. And one of the surprises before I remember when you said, hold off on gold. Now you're buying gold, right? Yes. Why? <laughs> you know, Why the made, change? Well, over the last few months, gold had made a significant move, and it got to very overbought levels. And over the last few weeks, it's consolidated. So now we're recommending partial positions, you know, in gold ETFs. Okay, so just the ETFs themselves. ETFs, exactly, yeah. It gives you a broad range of buying, you know, a multiple amount of stocks, you know, in one fund, so to speak. We've got some breaking news. We've got earnings from News Corporation, the parent of this network. Robert Gray has them. That's right, Liz, and they are coming in uh, better than analysts were looking for, 32 cents per share. The uh, bottom line there for News Corp beating the uh, estimate by three pennies, and the revenue number is also higher than the average estimate, $7.96 billion, and that is ahead of $7.66 billion. You see in the after hours, shares ticking higher. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much. And we continue our conversation with Tom Belisis. Uh, you're optimistic, obviously, but looking at earnings, whether they come from a news corporation or an Intel looking sure. very strong, there seems to be this ability right now for U.S. companies to find ways to make money. Absolutely. A lot of the money that U.S. companies are making are from overseas. You know, the demand from a lot of these emerging economies is helping U.S. companies provide the earnings that we're seeing. You know what? Ultimately, I think over the next few months, corporations here are going to build up more cash and more cash. And when it comes time to finding out the visibility of what happens in the White House, I think you're going to see entrepreneurs, business owners, start to prepare to spend money on their businesses, which is going to cause the market to really rally from that now, point. While the euro was very strong, a lot of investors were saying, I'm going to look for an international U.S. company that has a lot of revenue coming from over overseas. Is that less important now that the euro is uh, teetering? I don't. I think ultimately the EU is going to fix their problems. I mean, this is a testament to the viability of the EU. If so you would still look for companies that had significant exposure in Europe? Um, that doesn't I, I, scare you at all? No, it doesn't scare me at all. I think we've seen the story here over the last six months. Is the EU going to stay intact? Our, our country is going to pull out. They can't let Greece default. Why? It's going to be a domino effect. Italy, Spain, Portugal, they can't let that happen. This is a testament to the viability of the EU here, and we have to see what happens. Okay. Well, again, all, all funds to Greece are shut down for the moment until they have that referendum vote, which Papandreou, the leader, insisted upon. But, okay, so let's talk about why you like certain sectors here. And you said energy and materials, but energy. 
clearly you need a viable and strong economy to have utilization of more energy, don't you? Are sure. we there yet? You just saw the Federal Reserve cut the GDP forecast. No, I think internally these companies have done very well over the last few years to cut costs, cut expenses, raise a lot of capital because, as you can see, they're sitting on a lot of cash. So they can put that cash to work. And that's why a lot of these companies have been doing phenomenally well in terms of their earnings, which has been causing institution fund managers to buy these stocks on a pullback because valuations are very compelling so right now in the market. Bottom line is I don't have to go in my closet and get out my old drachmas. You don't have you don't to do that. don't think the drachmas are going to come back? I don't you think, think they're going to stick with the euro in Greece? As much as I believe it would be better for them to have the drachma, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know how else they pay off their bills if they don't have a currency to devalue. They better get back to work. Tom Belisis of John Thomas Financial. Great to you see guys. You, Tom. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.